I'm John Hershey, president of J. Hershey Architecture. Today we've given a tour of these two homes which were built in conjunction with Habitat for Humanity and the U.S. Green Building Council. This week was the 2010 International Green Build Expo at McCormick Place in Chicago and we had a tour that 30 people came up on to tour these two homes. So a number of different technologies on these two homes. Our focus really is on affordability with Habitat certainly, but as well energy efficiency, uh, products that are brought in from local distributors and suppliers, manufacturing. So this is the boiler for the house. Uh, and the boiler is handling both the heating requirements and the domestic hot water. Uh, the heating is in-floor radiant, so if you actually touch the floor in here, you can feel that it's warm. So we've got those orange tubes there that you can see. Those are all dropping down into the concrete, and they're spread out throughout the entire house. It's actually split into two separate zones. So there's six circuits. Three of them are for kind of the back half, the bedrooms, and the other three handle the front part. So there's two thermostats, so you can adjust the temperatures a little bit if you want a little cooler in the bedrooms maybe at night. Um, so the boiler generates hot water, circulates it through the floor to heat the house. And inside the boiler, there's a heat exchanger and then a little five to six gallon storage tank for the domestic water side. So when there's a call for domestic, the boiler heats up the water inside, circulates it through the heat exchanger, and then your domestic water is on the other side, so it's separated. One of the cool things on this boiler is the venting. It's a single pipe that's got another pipe inside of it. So your flue gases go out through the center pipe, and it pulls the combustion air in through the outer pipe. The way this boiler is so efficient is because it's condensing part of the steam that's in the flue gas. So by having the flue gas inside in your cold air that's being sucked from the outside, you're actually preheating the air that the boiler is using for the combustion process and it's condensing the, fl uh, the flue gases that much more and when you condense the flue gases you get the hot condensate that rolls back through the boiler through the heat exchanger and you can exchange some of that heat. So that's how it's actually more efficient is because we're condensing flue gases and absorbing some of the heat that would normally be lost up the vent stack. Renai makes the most efficient residential condensing boiler that's available. So this is about, about the best you can get. Your water heating is gonna be up in the 90s on efficiency, as well as heating the house. Uh, and it does have a five to one turn down. So we're 175,000 at most, but it will modulate down to 20% of that at a minimum firing rate. To find out more about this project and our firm, go to jhersheyarchitecture.com. You can also Google the U.S. Green Building Council and Habitat for Humanity of Lake County.